that there are, there are ways that we can do this for, for mammals that are going to have really amazing consequences for the way we can protect biodiversity. Well, that's fascinating for things like red wolves and things like that. But what, you know, what do you, like, when you think of, like, the python problem in Florida, I heard the worst idea. The worst idea they were talking about introducing honey badgers. <laughs> honey they, badgers? Because they eat snakes. I mean, I don't know if this was a serious idea. Because we have never, as a species, humans, <laughs> introduced a thing to try to control a thing, and that thing that we introduced just went horribly wrong. We've, we've never done that before. Right, Australia? Right. <laughs> yes. Australia's a wreck. They have a terrible feral cat problem. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in, in Hawaii, they have these giant African land snails. That, oh, yeah. I heard yeah, of those. Yeah. That they introduced this thing called a, a rosy wolf snail that they were going to get to eat the giant African land snails. But instead, the rosy wolf snail prefers the taste of native endemic Hawaiian snails. And so the oh, rosy boy. wolf snail is leaving the giant snails alone. They're, and they're big. Have you seen one of those? I don't they're, think I have. A giant African land snail. It's worth looking at it. Did they come over on cargo ships or something? I think we I think people introduced them for some reason that I can't remember oh, great. what it was. Yeah. So we have a good history of doing this Is kind it of thing. For giant escargot. Whoa. Right. Whoa. Uh, can they eat those? Are those delicious? I think people can eat them probably, but they eat everything from all of the vegetation to the, the other snails size of that to thing. plaster. You know, they'll eat their way through infrastructure that people have 